What is going on, everyone? We are getting closer and closer to Houston Texans football. It was day one of mandatory minicamp today, and we have a lot to talk about. If you want to be in my Houston Texans Discord, let me know in the comments down below, and I will personally send you the invite. Welcome to the 713 Houston Sportcast, where we drop daily Houston Texans content. My name is Ruben Calavillo. We're going to do the same thing that we did the last two weeks. Go to credentialed media members who were in attendance and see the clips that they posted. So without further ado, let's start with Aaron Wilson. He covers the NFL and Texans on KPRC Local 2. He does a fantastic job. Let's go ahead and start off with some of these clips. And how I learned, we just got to start off with some of the early ones that he posted. We see the boys warming up here. Neil Hunter. Is that Bobby? Nah, Bobby usually has a cap on. I was thinking about Jack Easter being his bald ass head. You would hope everyone shows up for mandatory minicamp, right? But just going back to the start, look at head coach D'Amico. Look at that smile. He's ready to get to work, man. Just the excitement for this team, ladies and gentlemen, is at an all-time high. It was good to see Laramie Tunso out there, Titus Howard, was out there as well. Neither of those two were practicing, but it's a good sign that they were there in attendance. Continue with these warm-ups. Desmond King, Derek Stingley, Jimmy Ward. Eric Murray. What, he's been in Houston Texas in the past four or five years? Jeff Okud on that number 11. It just looks weird to me. I think that was Derek Barnett back there. But, man, you just love that Aaron Wilson posts these minute-long clips, man. Not a lot of other guys do that. They're usually 6 to 15 seconds, man. Shout-out to Aaron Wilson. And then, as you see, my Twitter handle at the bottom, at 713HOU Sports. It would mean a lot if you give me a follow. Let's go get to some more clips, man. Our quarterback, C.J. Stroud. Some sweet handoffs. A lot of people were saying, why is he wearing this kind of calf band? And I think it's just to collect sweat, man. It looks really hot when you are playing outside in Houston. Dare Bungawale, backup kicker. Shout out to Mills Melee and Mills Mafia. Seems like they're just getting timing down right there. You love that. I believe that was Joe Mixon. Okay, we have some seven on seven here. CJ to Stephon Diggs. That's what we've seen the past two times we watched practice. And it's kind of what you want to see, right? One of your big acquisitions in free agency just making an immediate impact. And even Tank Dell talked about it, how he is talking to the young guys. And there was a tweet, I believe it was from Cody Stutz, who said last practice, Stephon Diggs was working out with the younger wide receivers and getting the route concepts down. You absolutely love that to see from Stephon Diggs. If you saw his interview today, it was just all smiles. He is happy to be a Houston Texan. And let's just watch this one more time. Yeah. 
just all eyes are on Stephon Diggs, man. Moving to the next clip. Some more seven on seven action. Man, look at Diggs. And it goes right to Stefan. Just note how much in motion Stefan Diggs is pre-snap. Bobby Slowick is in his bag, ladies and gentlemen. He is creating mismatches here. Just look at that. Just think about Tank Dell being in that role in the future, man. I absolutely love that. You want to get the ball in your playmaker's hands. And seeing Stephon Diggs in so much motion like that, bro, you absolutely love to see that from your offensive coordinator, Bobby Slowick. Moving on to the next clip, guys. I believe this was a John Mechie. Yeah. I think John Mechie might be your wide receiver four. And we've been having conversations about that, right? The top three are solidified. It's Stephon Diggs, it's Nico Collins, and it's Tank Dell. But who is going to be number four? Is it going to be Noah Brown, the veteran? Is it going to be Robert Woods, the veteran? Or is it going to be John Mechie? And I think John Mechie, who has been getting a lot of praise in the last couple of interviews and in the interview today with Tank Dell, he was talking about how close him, CJ, and Mechie are. So I have no doubt in my mind that Mechie is a favorite amongst the clubhouse. They are all close together. I really hope he does figure it out, man, because that is just another weapon of this Houston Texan offense that you have to watch out for. Now we're going to go to my guy, Cody Stutes. He covers the Houston Texan at Houston Football and on YouTube. You guys go out there and give him a follow. He does fantastic job. Um, Gave us some wide angles today, which we love to see. Oh, this was that John Mechie pass. Okay. De it, it looks like Derek Stingley was in coverage. Just a great route by Mechie. You know, John Mech is, no, is another one of those year three guys that we're talking about, that we're talking about. Damian Pierce, Kenyon Green, Jalen Petrie. Don't forget, John Mechie was one of those picks there. The Houston Texans, Nick Casario traded up multiple selections to go get John Mechie in the second round. With that being said, guys, I just hope he produces and there is no pressure on John Mechie, if I'm being honest with you, you have your top three weapons. But just seeing one of these other wide receiver produce, man, would just be sprinkles on the ice cream. And I think this was a CJ pass to Tank Dell. Dude, Mechie won that route against Derek Stingley also. Look right here at the bottom of the screen, this matchup. Oh, turned him around, did John Mechie too. Let's go, Mech. I think it was CJ Shot who said today that Mech has some of the best routes he's ever seen.
see J.D. Stefan. That's just all day in there. I believe that was Christian Harrison coverage. It was Christian Harrison coverage. I mean, did a good job for a linebacker, but that's the type of exploitation you want to see from Bobby Slowey. Move your weapons around the offensive line, create mismatches, and feed off of those mismatches. I love it. Got some wide receiver work here. Mix in. Man, it's a vibe, dude. Boys are just playing football. You love that. Shout out to Cody Stutes, man. Let's see, we have a couple of more here. We got some Mills Millie action. I believe it was, let me see who it is. Will Kunkel or Kunkel, who has the Derek Stingley clip right here. Well, he has the boys working out. You see LT. Uh, we got CJ dancing. Just the aura around this young man is insane. Yeah, it, it looks like those are just sweatbands, to be honest with you guys. He, I, I believe here is the Derek Stingley clip. Yes. Ball a little behind Stefan. But great play by Derek Stingley. I mean, closing speed is just elite. Yeah, look, you want to see a better ball? You want it more towards this shoulder, towards Stefan Day's left shoulder. With that being said, I mean, just a great play by Tarek Stingley, man. If he, he just needs to stay healthy, and we're talking about an all-pro corner. And so we just want to give a shout-out once again to Mr. Will Kunkel for giving us the clips here. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. It was day one of mandatory mini camp for the Houston Texans day two and day three are what follow. It's going to be the same thing these next two days, guys, keeping you up to date, which as much Houston Texans content as I can. If you are new here, just do me a favor, man. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. That's how you help me out the most. And guys, just once again, thank you all so much for watching today's episode.